It was a wild day of legal rulings for Donald Trump, and it unfolded as the former president sat in a New York City courtroom. An appeals court lowered the amount of a bond in his civil fraud judgment from nearly half a billion dollars to $175 million. The payment originally due today, now that deadline pushed by 10 days. In that hush money criminal trial, the judge set a trial date for April 15th. CBS's Robert Costa is outside Trump Tower in Manhattan. It was a last minute lifeline for Donald Trump. Near a deadline to secure a near half billion dollar bond, the five judge panel gave the former president 10 additional days to come up with the money by Thursday, April 4th, and lowered the amount to 175 million. It will be my honor to post and we'll post whatever is necessary. We asked Trump about how he plans to pay the new amount. Can you give us a little bit more detail about the timing of when you plan to secure the bond? Well, as I say, I have a lot of cash, but I would also like to be able to use some of my cash to get elected. Trump's lawyers had argued securing the more than $460 million bond was a practical impossibility and said that more than 30 insurance companies had rejected him. New York Attorney General Letitia James was preparing to collect if Trump couldn't pay and to possibly see some of his high profile properties, which Trump called his babies on social media. It's a wonderful break for him. I think they're overjoyed at receiving this uh, uh, decision. Today, James said the new lower bond figure doesn't affect the case, noting that Donald Trump is still facing accountability for his staggering fraud and that the judgment against him and his co-defenders still stands. This is a case that could have been brought three and a half years ago. Amid news of the bond decision going public, Trump was in a Manhattan courtroom, learning that the criminal trial involving hush money payments to former adult film star Stormy Daniels would begin the middle of next month. Trump's lawyers argued the case should be delayed or dismissed, saying thousands of documents were improperly introduced this month. That was rejected by Judge Juan Mershon, who said you are literally accusing the Manhattan DA's office of prosecutorial misconduct and trying to make me complicit in it, and you don't have a single case to cite. Trump would be the first former president to ever face a criminal trial. I would have no problem testifying. I didn't do anything wrong. Former President Trump vowed to appeal the start of his criminal trial, but the judge told Trump's lawyers today, we'll see you on April 15th. This trial could pull the candidate off the campaign trail for six weeks. Nora. Robert Costa, thank you.